Please kneel as we pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of February. For parishes, we pray that parishes, placing communion at the center, may increasingly become communities of faith, fraternity, and welcome towards those most in need. Amen. We now pray the prayer to Nuestra Señora de Guía. I revere thee with all my heart, most holy Virgin, above all the angels and saints of heaven, and I consecrate to thee my soul with all its faculties, my body with all its senses, and my heart with all its affections, praying that thou will obtain for me from the blessed Trinity all the graces I need for salvation. O peerless lady, how wretched and paltry is our gratitude beside thy infinite graciousness. How kind and good thou art, O lady, to us, the children of Adam, as the generous dispenser of all divine graces. What have we not received from thy tender and merciful heart? This very land owes its happiness to the presence of thy holy image, which has drawn to us all the favors which we unceasingly receive from God. 
the image is for us a loving proof of their motherly love and affection, as well as a shining mirror where it can glimpse their most admirable virtues. Be always our guide, O Mary, our model, our help and succor. And although we are miserable sinners, turn not away from us thy motherly heart. Do not allow this land to ever forget thee, and as long as one of us shall remain, to invoke thy sweet name. O Mary, show thyself always, our most tender mother, our steadfast advocate, our safe refuge, and most loving guide. Amen. Mary, our guide. Show your motherly love and pity upon us. Nuestra Señora de Guía. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration this Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Please all stand as we welcome our presider, Reverend Father Danichi. Our new love. 
We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you're entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land which you are crossing, the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord, your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land which the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. 
For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Please all stand for the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must first endure many sufferings, be rejected by the elders, the high priests, and the scribes, and be put to death, and then be raised up on the third day. Jesus said to all, Whoever wishes to be my follower must deny his very self, take up his cross each day, and follow in my, my steps. Whoever would have saved his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit does he show you who gains the whole world and destroys himself in the process? My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Suffering is inevitable. Hindi po may iwasan. Because it is part of life and present at every turn of life. But this is what Jesus would want to tell his disciples. And he made use of himself as an example to this. As he said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. Look at the attitude of Jesus towards suffering. Yes, it is inevitable but he embraced it. Niyakap niya ito. He accepted it. Tinanggap niya. And he can even talk about it and be proud of it to share among his friends. Many of us, when it comes to suffering, would conceal it. Itago. Hindi natin gustong pinag-uusapan. Kaya madalas tinatakbuhan. Some would flee from it as if suffering is something that we could escape from. Hindi naman natin matatakbuhan talaga ang pagdurusa. Takbuhan mo man yan, pag uwi mo, suffering pa rin yan. That is why instead of facing and resolving it, we tend to put remedy on it. We look for diversion. Kaya sa huli, walang nangyayari. Kasi remedy lang, pantapal lang, 
ang iniisip natin. This is the reason why Jesus is using His own suffering as a point of lesson for us. At least, we could find courage within us to face and embrace suffering because it is in accepting our suffering we could learn and be strengthened in life. It is in embracing our suffering could make things light. Mapapagaang kapag inaakap at tinatanggap ang pagdurusa. Kaya nga, ang mungkahin ni Jesus, take up your cross each day. Sa psychology, mayroong acceptance stage. And it is the start of healing. That is why Jesus is telling us all, telling all those who are suffering, that suffering has an end. May katapusan ang pagdurusa. It is not permanent. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is allowing us to open ourselves to sufferings. After all, Jesus even suffered as well. Kung si Jesus nga nagdusa, tayo pa. That's the consolation that we could give and tell ourselves every day as we carry our own sufferings each day. Kung ang Diyos nagdusa, tayo pa. And Jesus, as He used His own suffering, hopefully, we could be encouraged as well to carry our own cross. Because if we carry our own crosses, that suffering could be, in the end, an offering. Kapag inakap ang pagdurusa, nagiging isang pag-aalay sa huli. Suffering has an end. It is not permanent. And like Jesus, after everything, He was raised to life. So there is life after suffering, but only to those who embraced and accepted it. Amen. Please all stand. Our Lord Jesus calls us to follow Him, to carry the cross after Him, and to entrust to Him all those who suffer. For every prayer we shall say, Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That as members of the church, we may imbibe in our lives the spirit of the cross, and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of suffering people and may show commitment to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That those who are suffering, the poor, the sick, the handicapped, and prisoners may never fall into the despair, but experience the comfort of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That those who are alone in life may find companions who are willing to help them bear their crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That our beloved dead may be one with God and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions and our crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. God our Father, the passion and death of your Son brought life to the world. Help us to recognize the crosses and sufferings, not just in the great trials of life, but in day-to-day -day choices. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as in one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood 
the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Mm. 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, my God.